Come over to the window, my little darling I'd like to try to read your palm I used to think that I was some gypsy boy Before I let you take me home Now so long, Marianne It's time we began to laugh and cry and cry and laugh about it all again This is the guitar lesson for So Long Marianne by Leonard Cohen from GuitarMadeEasy.com First thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard E-tuning Alright guys, before we begin, please subscribe to my channel for the latest tutorials, updates, lessons, and it's a simple way of showing you enjoy my videos. And also, don't forget to grab my free gift to you, which is my secret guitar tips. Uh, these tips are free, and they will also get you really good at guitar really fast. So check them out, and now let's begin. Only two parts to this song, guys. You've got the chorus and the verse. The first part we're going to learn is the verse, which goes like this. A. B minor. D. A. G. D. F sharp minor, E. And on that E, I did kind of a little, let's call it a fill. What I did there was I went, I went to an E7 at the end. So if we have an E, all I'm doing is I'm taking my ring finger off the strings. I go, it's on right there. Take it off, put it back on, now I take it off and I leave it off. Now here's what it looks like coming from the F sharp minor going into that E. E. Could you hear the difference there? And that is the verse. That's one part down, one part to go. Now the chorus. The chorus goes like this, A, F sharp minor, E, and then I take my pinky and I put that on the second fret on the G string, then I take it off, now I take my ring finger off, and then we go to A. Once again, that E was the trickiest part in this entire progression. I'm gonna play through it really slow so you can see what I'm doing when I get to that E. Pinky on, take it off, take my ring finger off, and we finish on A. And the A's also got another little tricky thing attached to it as well, a tricky little fill. This is how we play it. When we come to the A, we go. Back into the verse. Now on that A, what I was doing there was I was strumming it, all down strums. Then I go A take my ring finger off that A, put it back on, take my pinky, put that on the third fret B string, and now I go. So pinky on, pinky off, and that B string ring is open. Put my pinky back on to that B string on the third fret, 
and then I take my ring finger and I put that on the second fret B string back to the regular A. Very slowly. Even slower. All the variation is on the B string. It should sound like this. So imagine just holding an A, and that's all the movement that has to happen. Bring the rest of the A in there. That little lick really makes the song to me. The last thing I want to show you was this entire song, I was doing the same strumming pattern. The strumming pattern, all it is, is down strums. But notice how I emphasize the very first strum. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can totally hear the difference. Watch me put the chord progression behind it. It makes all the difference in the world to add that emphasis to that first drum. That's it. That's the entire lesson. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Once upon a time you dressed so fine Through the bums of dime in your prime Didn't you? People call, say, beware, doll, you're bound to fall, you thought they were all kidding you. You used to laugh about everybody that was hanging out. Now you don't talk so loud. Now you don't. Seems so proud about having to be scrounging 